Oh man, it has been a while. So you guys are probably wondering what the hell this thing on my leg is. Well, I kind of have a story for today. Uh, I tore my MCL. The video footage of when it happened isn't all that good and now I gotta freaking deal with all this dust while I talk. Yeah, screw that. So the video footage didn't quite come out. The first hour and a half, it was great footage, it was good footage, but the deal with my camera was is I must have blew on the lens blowing something off when I put it into the case. And because I did that, it was bad footage. It was blurry, it was, uh, everything was shining. It was really crappy footage. And so I didn't get to use a lot of it, which I haven't even edited it yet. So this is probably gonna be in that footage or you might just see the crash from that day. The crash was clear footage. Uh, it eventually cleared out after changing the batteries once or twice and everything was good. This happened a week or something ago and uh, it was bad. I couldn't walk. I kept complaining after I kept riding and I felt like a little bitch for complaining but it was a lot worse than what it seemed to be at the time. Now I'm supposed to be on crutches and this knee brace but I kind of ditched the crutches after a couple days because it got to where I could kind of walk on it. I could limp on it basically as long as I don't uh, bend it. It used to be I couldn't straighten it but now it's, I can't bend it inward without it hurting. So it's kind of changing. Hopefully it's going to get better. He said three to freaking six weeks on crutches. I'm supposed to go back here in another two weeks and go have it looked at. But uh, hopefully he'll give me the go ahead and I can ride again. He said I couldn't ride. He said I couldn't do anything that involves using my legs. And so basically I've been stuck in the house. And I don't have that much footage to edit. So it's been kind of boring. I kind of done edit it all I can. And uh, those videos are already out. So I'm kind of out of content right now, right? Well, uh, hopefully Wednesday I'm going to go get new wheels for my truck. And that'll be pretty freaking sick. And that'll be a good video. And then also putting new headlights in my truck will be another good video. And kind of just little things around the house I can probably do. Anyway, so this is going to be more of a moto vlog type video today. Not really a riding video like my other ones. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. It's, it's really just an update to you guys. That's all it really is since I can't ride a dirt bike. Let's go up to where the crash happened and I'll explain it. So one of Garrett's friends came over on a KX250 and we were ripping. We were ripping a big circle around here. Here's one of the turns. And uh, we got a nice berm going as you can see. And uh, you'd come out here and you'd run past the pond all the way to this bank. And coming out of the bank, there was no real line. It was just pin it and turn all the way around till you make a full or half a circle. So we'd come in flying right here, rail this bank and come out. Well, this stuff at the time, like right now, it's dried out. It's all kicked up. This stuff will get good traction. But coming out, it was about right here. I think I switched in a second or third and it just slid out. And at that time, it was still grassy. It still wasn't uh, dry. It was very slick. And so if I would have had new tires, which were actually in the mill on the way, that probably wouldn't have happened. But damn it it happened and now i'm stuck on the freaking quad making moto vlogs just riding around look at all that right there guys that is all done okay it's not finished but it's you know close to being done there'll be a video on that after i get back on the bike and i'll be able to actually make a video on it and uh that'll be a great video it's gonna be fun i can't wait i'm still trying to get my skid plate in to cross the bigger logs Here's the freaking swamp. We've been taking the grizzly through. Uh, kind of an update on the grizzly because I know everyone's. Look at that. Oh, I thought that was a frog at first. I was about to say that's a big ass frog, but it's a turtle. There's Julius. I hear him. Uh, so update on the grizzly. 
still it the oil's still bad. I've drained it three times, but I've tried cleaning the oil filter and that didn't really work. And so I'm gonna have to go buy one. And uh I haven't been able to get out and do that. And now I can't crawl up under the grizzly sadly, so I'll have to finish it once I get better. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> I gotta get new tires for this thing. But I kind of enjoy it being slick. Because <laughs> the rear end will freaking get up and go the entire time. You're just sitting there spinning full throttle. I need some freaking tire. My my rear end's trying to come around from spinning that entire time. Now in some cases that's bad, like in mud, but I got four wheel drive, and that's what's so great about this freaking thing. Is uh it's like a sport quad and has the power of one but it has four wheel drive it has a locking front both wheels will skid up and go as fast as they freaking can but when you get on the throttle it's so it's awesome like you hit a mud hole you all your all four wheels are spinning as hard as they'll go because it has a lock in the front and so uh it makes it a beast in the mud like my grizzly it doesn't have a lock in front differential but uh i wish it did that sucker would go through anything if it did You stalled? Julius, I am like dead ass empty. I'm empty. You got gas? Like, <laughs> look at that. Oh my god, dude, my front end just locked up and my rear end was coming around. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, my rear end totally just turned. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to stop. You should name your bike. I think you should name it Steven because it has such a big forehead. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry to all the Stevens out there. That jarred the crap out of me. come in here and do something for the dirt bikes we had a little what the hell he did not just go through that fence the fence must be down over there or something but we had a nice little dirt bike section coming in through here and stuff it was fun this is a tight fit right there Twenty minutes later.
This right here is so slick. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video. So, uh, if the camera dies, it doesn't. It actually has an ending to it. Woo! Uh, if you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, if you like quad videos in general, like not mudding, but actual moto vlogging on a quad, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, there's not too many things I can do when it comes to moto vlogging on a quad around the house because they're pretty dang boring. But uh, I can figure something out. And hopefully once like, my leg gets better, videos will be better than ever, better edited. Maybe I'll learn some uh, better editing skills whenever uh, in the process of while this is healing and while I can't really do nothing but sit on the couch. So uh, hopefully we'll have some good videos coming. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys on the next video.